Hi, I'm Hank, and I'm here with a review of the Tascam TM70 Dynamic Broadcast Microphone. Inside the box, you get a small desk stand, mic cable, a well-constructed shock mount, and, of course, the microphone itself. As far as price goes, at the time of this recording, the microphone costs $99. US When it comes to the build quality, there was nothing that could prepare me for the size, or should I say, lack of size, of this microphone. When I looked at the images online, I was expecting a microphone at least on par with the Zoom ZDM1. But what I got was a microphone that looks more along the lines of a handheld than a broadcast microphone. All right, it's time to try the plosive test. I back off the mic about four inches. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Let me get a little closer. I'll get into about two inches away. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Really bad. You always want to mitigate plosives by pointing the microphone at the corner of your mouth and then talking across. So you're not getting that wind burst right down the barrel. Let me put on a windscreen since this microphone is so dinky, it can use a ball mic windscreen. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A little bit better. All right, now I'm going to turn the microphone off axis and we'll see how it does at rejecting my voice. Into the side of the microphone. Now I'm talking into the rear of the microphone. I'm talking into the other side of the microphone. Back around front to the front of the microphone. Now I'm going to turn off all processing, including the noise gate, which is going to be scary. You'll hear my jet engine computer. you probably hear the neighbors. And you'll probably hear the neighbor's neighbors. All right, this is what it sounds like with all the processing turned off and the noise gate. Now I'm going to turn up the gain on the Rodecaster Pro. just over half already. So I'm gonna go full tilt and I won't speak. For your sake, I'm turning the processing back on. My environment is horrible, just so you know. Now I'm going to compare this microphone to a couple of other microphones I have sitting here on the desk. Now on the boom, I have the Shure SM58. It's a legendary microphone. How does it sound compared to the Tascam TM70? I like this mic. And this mic, in all honesty, isn't that much smaller than this one. Now I'm on the Tascam TM70. How does this sound in comparison to the Shure SM58? We'll have to crank the gain up. Oh my goodness. Man, this mic is quiet. Now I am on the Shure SM7B and I have a gain almost maxed out on the Rodecaster Pro. How do you like the sound of this microphone? Now I'm going back to the Tascam. Now I'm back on the Tascam TM70. And this is what it sounds like. As far as the pros, the included shock mount is well constructed. I received several compliments when I used this microphone on several of my podcasts and live streams. Generally, I live stream and podcast with a couple audio engineers and two DJs. So I do take their opinions seriously. The frequency range lends itself for some good post-production EQ. The supercardioid pattern helps eliminate room noise. Personally, I found the grill and the body of the microphone to be pretty sturdy. As far as cons, at the sub $100 price point, there are better looking options if what you're going for is a look on stream. Not necessarily a con, but I would personally would define the sound as unique. In my opinion, overall, if this microphone had a better on-camera look, 
I would have no trouble swapping this mic in for my live streams or podcasts from time to time like I do with my other microphones. Even though all we should be concerned about is the sound, the microphone's lack of size and style drops it down the list of the sub $100 microphones that you can purchase. For more reviews, training, opinion pieces, and more, head to freepodcasttools.com. If you like what I'm doing, be sure to support this project.